might get a few more people out. What was that now? We might get a few more people out. Um, as you know, we've been talking about having an outing on the Whitman Coochie either this coming weekend or the next weekend. Mm -hmm. And uh, I actually wasn't aware of all these landings we had on the Whitman Coochie. I thought there was only one. So it was only for my end. So uh, what we were thinking, and maybe you can improve on this already, is putting in at State Road Bridge, which is somewhere around here, and then getting out to the landing in Lake Hill Park. Okay. Maybe there's a better landing on the Whitman Coochie to put in on. What I was going to suggest, and I believe you were the gentleman that asked what the differences were between the different sites. Um, I'd like to make sure that I get you my card, and we'll talk about the different distances. Um, and I'll give you the information, and then uh, if you'd like, um, you pick where you'd like to pack. I mean, um, well, but, uh, well, our event is this weekend. Okay. We always go on the third Saturday. Okay. And so, you know, That's we. A short but, um, um, I will ask or, or we're going to talk about this. Are we going to put off a week and go on the fourth Saturday? On the 22nd since we're just meeting today and we've been discussing that but anyway if you know in your head hey it's easy to go from Knights Ferry to uh, Clydesville Nankin how far is that five miles three miles yeah. well, and that's what I'd like to know and honestly um, I mean, not only do I want to know the distances I wouldn't mind going out I want to take a look at it ahead of time so that we can give you an idea of what you might oh well we just we just put in and go down uh, do, yeah. not not to worry about planning. Well, yeah. he's volunteering help plan. Yeah. yeah. And, well, and I can't say that I I'm, I'm, I can't plan your event for you. What I would be glad to do is give you any information about our current bone access. And we'd love to have you come yeah. along. Come along. Yeah. That'd be great. Well, I'll give you my contact information um, and give you as much information about the boat access as possible. And I'm not saying that I'll decline to. <laughs> Absolutely. We we will we will. It may not be the 15th, but we can certainly, you know, come along one, uh, you all go, one, you said once a month. Right. One of the things you might make a note of, we have our website, which is walls, www.ls.net. Okay. Yes, sir. We also have a Facebook page. If you check those both out, get on the Facebook uh, group, you'll get an invitation uh, every month tell you where we're going to go on the river, what river, where, all the details. Okay. Well, I mean, uh, we love, appreciate you speaking, but you're also welcome to, you know, become part of our group if you would like. Okay. Or if you just want to come on one or a paddle one time. Yeah, either you don't have one, to be either part or of all. To that. If you're concerned about the health and welfare of the, of the poor watershed between the plant and the... Anybody need anything else? <laughs> Well, and the other thing is too, you know, you were talking about farms. The name of our group is the Walls of Watershed. We care about all of the land, you know, how does it come down through the creeks? Is there runoff from the farms? What happens when you clear cut? It's a, we're looking at the big picture. So, you know, we're totally, we're well, with you. And, and I hope you have to understand, we're confined to what the mission <laughs> of the, the Parks and Recreation Authority is. And our, our primary concern is making sure that we're providing quality recreation to to the community, to, like, to the, the citizens that are about off the miles county. Um, and if you're going out to go paddle for recreation, that's what we'll we'll sample water, we'll, we'll, we'll photograph what, plants. What you decide to do while you're recreating is completely up to you. That's right. We're, we're also offering the events where we'll be trying to attract people. Presumably, you have an event calendar. Could you perhaps list our event on your calendar to get you the information? If, you, if that would have, be, I would think, I mean, something like that would have to go through the board to yeah. actually see what. If we're just having with any third party organization to see how that's actually yeah. listed. Sure. And, and certainly that's something. If we're, if we don't list other events of other. Ah, I see. However, I'm, no. I'm, I'm just saying that that might be something that, you know, we could. And let you know run through the authority board, not pulling it off on the authority board by no means, but you know, I, I you know, that is something that certainly could, uh, I'm sure we could work. And you know, again, you know, we may start sponsoring you know canoe trips or kayak trips, and certainly if we do that and we open it to anybody and everybody, then 
you're certainly welcome to join or sign up or register when we you know from from that standpoint so we're we are looking at trying to add more outdoor recreation um, to what we do and Nate has been with us about 10 months um, and he's done a, a, a great job with our team and, and, and helping us move our master plan and our you know we're also looking at doing online registration in the future upgrading you know, he, he and the supervisors have been doing an amazing job coming together and making it easier for each, everybody to access what we're doing when we're doing it and involving more people so those are some of the things that we are doing but and I want to go one last thing with the reason 